considering how well my most recent spoiler video did on episodes 134 and 135, yeah, I think I'm going to do another one. Because, holy moly, we got more spoiler episode titles. <laughs> that was uh, pretty quick. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's up everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here. Just doing another video concerning the Sun and Moon anime. And this time I'm going to be going over recent episode titles for one episode 137 and 138. And boy oh boy, <laughs> things have gotten pretty dang interesting. So, just to read off the... Description for episode 137. I'm going to have it on screen here. And this is coming from Serbi. The episode is titled Guzma the Undefeated. And I'll just read the description really quickly. Um, it's the second match of the semifinals. When Guzma's partner Pokemon, which is Galissapod, his emergency ex exit is activated. Hassam, which is Scizor, suddenly had to battle, so it came out leading to it losing to Torcat and making Guzma indignant with rage over Galissapod's tendency to do as it pleases. Even though Guzma has been in the lead so far, he gradually loses his pace as he sees his old rival Kukui and Satoshi's foresight eyes. Well, <laughs> we'll go over this one first because yeah, this is actually pretty pretty interesting. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this episode so far. And I'm definitely very intrigued. I think this is actually going to be a really good episode. And it looks like to me that Sun and Moon has been doing uh, cliffhanger endings with a lot of its episodes recently. Like the last two episodes have been the start of battles and it looks like things are going one way and things change. So I fully expect in episode 136 to show Guzma pretty much wrecking Ash. As it shows, it says in the uh, description here, he's in the lead, despite what happened in this er, episode 137. So, yeah, I'm liking what it's saying here, because it, Guzman's going to lose his cool. It shows that him and Glissopod don't have a strong bond, and Guzman is losing his patience. I like this development, because it's going to show that Guzman doesn't really have anywhere to hide. If you remember from his debut episode, he left after Emergency X... X blech. Emergency exit was activated, and he walked away. But here, he can't really run away, because otherwise he'd forfeit the match. But I do like the fact that this shows the difference between Ash and Guzma. Because, well, Ash trusts his Pokemon and has a strong bond with them. It seems like Guzma doesn't have a strong bond with Galissapod, as it pretty much wants to do what it wants whenever it wants to with Emergency Exit. And I like the fact that he's losing his cool. And this is going to be his downfall. Because he's been shown to be a calm and collected battler in the past. Just look at his battle with Ilma. He pretty much stayed calm and collected and managed to come up with a great strategy against him and pulled off the win there. So, yeah, he's going to lose his concentration. And it's especially going to be bad for him when he sees Kukui and Ash. And that's going to probably throw him off further and that's going to be the end of him. I also like the fact that Torcat seems to be getting a lot of Spotlight here. He's putting in the work. He's going to be doing a lot of damage to Galissapod, and then he's going to take out Scizor, which is awesome. I like it. I love Torcat. So, yeah. I just hope that maybe they don't, after this match ends, I just hope that they don't completely abandon Guzma and his story. That's a concern I do have, as I mentioned in my previous video. As I do feel like this should have been the final match, as it felt like more of a final match versus a semi-final match, but I do think I'm starting to accept this a bit more. And it's pretty clear that Ash is going to win, judging by this, because Guzma is pretty much going to lose due to his own arrogance, and I can't wait to see that. That's going to be some pretty... That's going to be a pretty good... I, I see this being a good episode, and hopefully it delivers. So, yeah, that pretty much covers that episode. So, on to the next one, and oh boy... Episode 138. And, uh, yeah, I have it on screen now. And it is titled, uh, The Finals. The Ultimate Rival Showdown. And, yeah, that is... Yeah, Ash. Ash is going to the finals again, everyone. Woo-woo. <laughs> yeah. The question is, will he win? I'm not so sure at the moment. I guess we'll see when the time comes. 
Now, I'm still very concerned about Gladion winning, as I do, I still feel like it was either Ash or Guzma that should have won this league. And I'll be honest with you, I've been thinking about it a little bit more, and I'm kind of warming up to this idea. Let me just mention something before I go into this. I will say this about the final match between Ash and Gladion. If there's one thing that I completely forgot to mention, or I just completely forgot about in my last video, is the fact that Ash and Gladion, they're the only ones in this league that have completed all four grand trials. So it almost makes perfect sense for them to be the final match because they're the ones that are most worthy of face each, facing each other in the finals and the most worthy contenders in this whole league. So yeah, that kind of makes sense there. But another reason I'm warming up slightly, I'm just going to say I'm warming up slightly to Gladion winning. The only way that I can, I'd be happy with him winning or be a little bit accepting of it is if it adds to his character in the next arc, which obviously... Moen's going to be showing up in the next arc. And maybe, you know, I don't know how they're going to treat Moen, but wouldn't it be cool if, like, let's just say he does win the Alola League, and as he meets his father, he mentions about how he's grown as a strong trainer, and now he's the first Alola League champion. And then I could see Moen being very proud of his son and accepting that. And that'd be, that would be a nice moment, and I can see that being cool, and I would... I'd be more accepting if something like that happened. I'm still iffy on it, but I'd be a little bit more okay. It would still cost Ash from winning the league again. But I would be more okay with this, as opposed to someone like Alon, who won the league and didn't really get much development around it afterwards. Not to mention there was that stupid quote, at the end of X and Y, in which he basically said, "At this, or as of right now, I cannot defeat Ash." And ugh, that that line still bothers me to this day, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So, uh, those are your episode. That's the episode spoilers. So, some interesting titles, and definitely going to be interesting to see how they pull pull it off in these episodes. So, guys, uh, in the comment section down below, let me know what you think of this episode or these episode titles, excuse me. Do you think they're interesting? Do you... What do you think is going to happen at the end of this league? Let me know. Leave your thoughts and concerns in the comments in sec comment section down below. And if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. See you all later. Bye.